Okay, so for today, we're going to learn about inequalities. So in general, there are three main examples of inequalities, which is the first one is linear. So these basically are our tips on how to solve them. So for linear, we usually make x as a subject at the left hand side. And then for quadratic inequalities, we're going to use two methods which are graphical as well as algebraic. And then for algebraic method, it's been divided into two steps or two strategies which the first one is real number line which we would have an acronym for the steps which is FARSPA as well as table sign and then last but not least we do have a rational inequality which this rational came from word ratio which ratio here can be related to fraction there is one only method on how to solve rational inequalities which the sub steps would be real number line by first bar also and then you could opt for double of sign as well and then this is your task please find out the properties of inequalities so here to our first example which the first one here, we have 2x greater equal than 1 minus 4x. Okay, so something to ponder. Which categories these inequalities involve in? It is actually linear because x only got the highest power of 1. So for this one, we should do is we have to make x as a subject on the left. So bringing to the left 4x we would have that and then greater equal to 1 so simplify this we would have 6x greater equal than 1 subsequently we would have x greater equals to 1 over 6 okay so next question this somehow looks a bit complicated complicated but we could solve this don't worry so first, what you need to do is you have to expand this. So that should be 3x minus with 6 plus x greater with this one as well. Please expand that. You should have 8 minus with 4x and then minus x. Don't forget. So again, we have to make whatever with x to our left hand side here. So we should have 4x plus with 5x as well as the greater sign remained what we have on the right should be 8 plus 6 so simplify this one that should be 9x greater than 14 so eventually we would have x as 14 over 9 okay if you could simplify this any further please do so but in our case here we don't have that huh? so how about this one this looks interesting because there are two loops there. It's not even related with one inequality only, but it got two sets of the loops, which this is the first set of the inequalities. And then on the other hand, we also have another set of inequalities here. Okay? So the idea is we have to solve this separately. Solve separately and then afterwards we're going to combine them together. Okay, so let's explore this carefully. The first thing first, we would have 2x minus with 2 times by 4 plus x in the bracket less then or equal to x plus 3. This one is our first set of inequalities. So just solve this first. Huh? We would have 2x minus with 8 minus also with 2x less equals to x plus 3. So eventually this one would be eliminated together. X is there with a positive coefficient. So let it remain there. But by equal greater equal than negative 11 ok 
Okay, so this is our first solution. Should be our first solution. On the other hand, we would have somehow our second set of solution, which I would number this as 2. So we should have x plus 3, but less than 2x plus Okay, okay, let me expand this straight away. Yeah? So, it would be 5x minus 5. So, combining this together, together with this, that should be 6x. Okay, careful. This one is greater. So, it should be 3, negative 5 being moved to our left here. So, that is 8 already. So, x greater than 8 over 6 can be simplified any further. So that should be 4 over 3. Okay. So now this meanwhile is our second solution. So we cannot just assume that okay it's either x greater equals than negative 11 as well as x greater than 4 over 3 cannot. We should use some combination to actually simulate them. So, combine by using number line consisting of negative 11 as the smaller value with 4 over 3 on the right because it got a, a bigger value than negative 11. So, our first solution which I will name this as S1 that should go to the right. Okay, remember your chapter 1 so greater equals than negative 11 so to the right over that meanwhile for our second solution over here we would have something like greater but not equals to 4 over 3 okay and then since they are being combining together like this it's actually and so n here will got something to do with the region that you have to take over here. So in our conclusion, we would take the one with an intersection of lines there. So our final answer should be as greater than 4 over 3. Okay. So you might want to make it properly as in solution set. So might be x such that x is greater than 4 over 3. So that should be your final answer. Okay. So going further to our next methods to be discussed. I would love to emphasize to you two types of writing the solution of that we want to suggest to you when you are writing the final answer which the first one is in interval form remember this one you have learned but then in, in uh, chapter one but just in case you don't really know how to relate that so i would love to keep you in check so interval form let's say just now we have x greater than 4 over 3 right so interval forms means x greater than 4 over 3 so it should be from 4 over 3 which doesn't include it so open bracket up until infinity so this is what it means by interval form but meanwhile you can also Put your final answer in terms of solution set. Okay, which solution set need an e inequality and involve x? Okay, so equivalent to this, it should be x is such that by using the double dot and then just put the inequality involved. So this one is in between 4 over 3 up until infinity that should be x as a subject here at the left hand side and then greater than 4 over 3 okay so that's what i meant by two options of writing the final answer okay all the best